The clock is ticking. Casualties are down and need help. You only have 15 minutes to save them. This is the scenario medical personnel go through during training for the Expert Field Medical Batch or EFMB. Captain Ryan Ransom is one of those racing against the clock. Any kind of delay is going to seriously impact their, their care and could mean, you know, it's the difference between life and death. So we definitely want to be proficient and, and get them out of here as quickly as possible. Step Sergeant Robbie Harper has been through this scenario many times, but today, as an instructor, he knows the value of this training. This will give them a small advantage for when they do go out for if and be on the DMZ to where we'll give them the tools that they need to be successful and hopefully they'll get the badge. However, they're not here just for the badge. The reason behind why we do all this is to become better soldiers, become uh, more proficient in our skills and, and to be able to do this without really thinking about it because when you're under fire or you're, you're under time restraints or, or pressure, you want to just be able to do it and not think about it. Nine minutes, sir. Nine minutes. Nine minutes. But the important thing is, is not to think about the time, is just to get that patient you know, in there and strapped in and, and ready to go as fast as possible. The manual says 15 minutes. Our time today was uh, 10 minutes. For a medic, beating the clock means saving a life. Army Corporal Sang Woo Chang, Yongsan, Korea.